wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. The opinions expressed in our content is for entertainment purposes only. We do not assume liability or endorse any of the third party content used in our materials. Okay. Okay. So before we get into talking about Jocelyn's cabaret, let's first talk about that intro. Yo, bitches wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Just wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. New York, we in the building, baddest bitch. Yeah. Love this shit, you know it's bloody bitches. Get on your knees and go and get my money. Let your me do those things, no te gusta lo que digo. I'm assuming that her intro is like a rap single that she's dropped before. This is my assumption. I could be wrong, but I might be right. But it, to me, it falls with that conversation that we've been having back and forth about talentless rappers out here trying to rap and gaining followers and fans off of trash. Because I don't know what y'all heard through that intro. I heard trash. And here's what I got to say about Jocelyn and her rap career. She qualifies for MILF music. Blueface label. He said, baby mamas. She got one kid by, what is this? Uh, Stevie J. Stevie J. So she's a baby mama. No talent needed. There's no talent there. Star quality. Jocelyn is Jocelyn is Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn. She got that star quality. So she can go ahead and sign to MILF music and she'd be perfect with a talentless, rapless, singless self. That's just my opinion. What you think? I think Jocelyn intro is her way of promoting her new song. It's the way for her to promote her music just to get it out there, let her know, hey, I'm still doing music. And to be honest, Jocelyn is getting better. Because if you heard her when she first started, that's better. No flow, no nothing. That's nothing. Better. You got to hear the first. Well, I don't know. She was making music with Stevie J. Was she? But this now is way better. She's getting on track. She's getting on beat. She's finding her way. Lyrics better, more clear, more a lot of things going on. But I will say, Jocelyn don't get enough credit for her fashion wise. Like appearance wise, to me, Jocelyn always can dress. So in this interest on intro, I'm looking at her outfit in the videos. I'm like, okay, those some cute pieces. Jocelyn, she know how to put stuff together. Yeah, like, she has some cute outfits. She did. And then she always doing stripper moves. Like she just like that's what she reserved. Like with that was my too. dance moves in. She looks, that's what she, she don't know what to do. That's what she should have stuck to. I think what she should have did was let a real rapper rap her intro. And she could have just danced. Like you said, she's a stripper. She knows how to strip and how to gyrate and vibrate nah, around the like screen. Like I said, rap is a hustle. She want to get her coin, get your coin, sis. And people are only you following her. Me. People are only liking that rap because of who she is. Right. And, and she they, probably uh, put a heel in their head if they didn't. No. It's trash. Nah, Jobs, like I said, she, and she also makes no. Y'all want to play games with me? Not this season. This is not the time to play games with me. When we see in this episode. <laughs> if I was a real rapper, I'd be upset with that intro. She could have hired anybody. I mean, you know, and even this, she could have maybe had somebody kind of debut with her or do a duet or however y'all call it in the rap world. Could have been her and somebody else kind of feature. <clears throat> whatever. <laughs> somebody helping her out <laughs> with that damn intro. I, and I can see it. She got that ego. You know, it was all about her. And she and she wanted to shine and wanted to be all about her. You say she got better. I ain't listened to none of her stuff before, but if she was worse than that, I mean, like, what? For them badass chicos that be running the streets all day. Bitches wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Bitches wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. I run the block, I run the block. You fuck with me, you will the drop. My money long, I'm way too smart. A million dollars in the McLaren. Your bitches made a lady on her back. I bitch to work to the better right, bitch. Every night we need the bag, cause every night we gon' need that bag. Don't fuck with me, cause my money. Long, bitch. Don't fuck with me cause my money long, bitch. 
Look, look, look. It is 2023. That's what I'm saying. Y'all listen better. to ri- lyrical <laughs> rappers? Go find them. Go search them. Go push them up. But you can't. Why? Because that's not what the people listen to. They like jobs. trash. <laughs> they like trash. Jobs. And it upsets like me. Like I said, it's trash. trash. And like I said in another uh, video that we did, I think about Blueface. I would. Real rappers stand up. <laughs> I would be upset. Well, if, you know they do stand up and they get called haters and then they go sit down and be quiet. No, <laughs> no let, let's get a movement together. Oh, because it, it it bothers me that this new generation does not care about quality, <laughs> does not care about perfection. All they care about is that moment. I'm gonna do some some junk. I'm gonna throw it out here make a moment out of it and then i'm gonna move on to the next moment but it's like i've said before career rap careers it's like a career careers are about longevity you want to put something out there that's going to last that your kids 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 can still listen to like like some of the old school stuff that was put out like in the 70s songs and things like that you can still play those songs today people sample them today because they were good they were quality (laughs) It's BS that they putting out <laughs> they right now. They don't care. Cause you wanna know why? Cause, cause they're stupid. stupid. Nah, not cause they're stupid. <laughs> cause even when all that stuff was going on, all those people are majority of them are broke. Who? All those because they were taking advantage of. Exactly. They, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that don't mean you stop. You you stop putting out quality. Now that we're smarter. Now that we're able to manage our own careers. Now that we have a lot of different laws in place that weren't in place back then. <laughs> Why are we suffering with quality? <laughs> no, we don't care. We don't care. What the it's hell is okay. wrong with your we, people? We don't care. We all live for the moment. That's how That's everybody not... is right now. They don't care. Hell in a handbasket. That's what I said. <laughs> hell in a handbasket. And Jocelyn is taking us there with this trash uh, intro. No, she said, you want to play games with me? You don't want to play games with me. And I wouldn't. <laughs> no. The intro is... Three thumbs down on the intro. No, it's not. She can change that intro. Like I said, I like Joslyn intro. Joslyn. So you like that rap? I like Joslyn intro. You right. the rap? No, no, we talking about no, the no, but rap. But the rap is intro. Joslyn stuff is known for her hooks. Like her little it, stuff. Like, it like, makes zero <laughs> sense. If you want to play games with me. <laughs> It made zero sense. She said the same thing about 55, 11 times. That's her hook. That's what her little when her little songs do. Yeah, they be making fun of them, but everybody be uh liking the hook. Like do it for do it like my B day. <laughs> do it like my B day, baby. I know you heard that on Instagram and TikTok. Never heard it. And what's the <laughs> other one? She got a whole bunch of little. It's like probably four of them living out there. But job, there people are making a, a joke out of her. That's pretty much what that is. That's why she probably make jokes out of everybody else. That's why why she's so damn mean. But I would want to be taken serious. Nobody's taking you serious. Nobody's (laughs) taking your rap career serious. Serious. Nobody's really taking you serious. She's being exploited and she don't even know it. (laughs) She thinks she's running things, but she ain't running nothing. They are exploiting her. And when her body starts dropping, getting uh, sagging and dragging, she's going to be done. It's going to be on to the next uh, Jocelyn knockoff. Because she, because she's not bringing anything to the table that's worth holding on to. She don't care. She's just trying to secure the bag. That's another reason. Like people don't care for the the. I guess well, like the sport I said, of rap. They want care for the money. That's that, why I that's, said money and TV is the new hustle. Like I said, the gatekeeper days is over with. Time yeah, but here's the thing: people, people are so smart to me that they're stupid. <laughs> yeah, you can secure the bag. There's so many ways right now to make money. You can just make it easy, you know, become an internet sensation overnight. But the thing is, like you said, how many of these people actually last? How many of people actually have longevity? How many of these people actually have a plan B, C, D, E, F, G? <laughs> All they got is plan A. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do this and I'm going to make this million dollars. And then what? By the time you get old, time to retire, you've been working at McDonald's for the last 15 years. Because that bag that you secured... You ran through it because you had no other plans to it. Had, there was no longevity. Sure Even like I said, got plans to it. Like jobs been going on ten years, being relevant. So she's not no dummy. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I said, we we don't know. We'll 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 find out 10, 15 years from now when she's irrelevant. If she still has money, if she still has her finger or her hands in stuff or whatnot. Jobs was just being jobs. So that's my take on that. Their intro. <laughs> And hers. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
she said something in episode one that I want to commend her on. She said that this was her first time performing in a very, very long time without drugs, pills, alcohol, or whatnot. Cocaine. Right, cocaine. The reason why I'm so emotional, because this is my first time that I've ever performed without any cocaine, without any pill, without any ecstasy. Because um, apparently, all the mother years we've seen her on TV or in her, uh, performing, she was hot. So I want to commend her on that. But I want to talk about that. You know, I'm going to talk about that because that is real. Because I've heard stories, you know, of strippers who, before they go on stage, they get drunk. Um, prostitutes, before they go out and do their little tricks, they... Um, Even artists, get high, artists too. Right, get high or get drunk to, to deal with their situation or deal with what they're getting ready to do. And I would say, the artists, I would say it was more of anxiety for them. Yeah, but there's still a lot to deal with what they want to do there to ease. To, to for make them, more for them, for them, anxiety, I would say, right, versus escaping a situation. You know, I'm leaning more towards that end. Like I say, I, I've heard little stories about Jocelyn as well, having a rough life, rough time. You can see by the way she talk that life has kicked her in the ass a couple of times because she's rough. Um, and people find ways to cope. And my question is, have you ever had to or had a situation that you felt like you you needed to to get your mind right, or get in a different set of uh, get get in a different mind frame before I get ready to deal with this person or this situation because it happens all the time. Not like on a grand scale, like a Jocelyn. Like I never took any substance or anything like that. But being like in an environment, I'll say a lot of people can't handle. For instance, like being like, not being like, being talked about constantly. So me, it's been multiple times <laughs> where I've been at a job or especially because my, either my position or me being a supervisor or just in some type of leadership Something position. like that. People are constantly got something to say, constantly talking about you. But me being more of a assertive, dominant person in those type of environments, mm -hmm. I tend to be more disliked than like. Look, to me, I'm like, I don't care. But as a kid, stuff like that used to bother me. Me now as an adult, get the job done. <laughs> like, I don't care. Most people can't cope with that. Like, I have some right. of my, like, co-workers and stuff, like, they'll break down crying. They're not listening to me, and they're this, that, or another. Oh, my gosh. They get so upset. They don't want to come to work no more. want to quit and not deal with the job. Girl, ain't that deep. You just got to put it in your head. I got a job to do. I got bills to pay. It's me or you. Right. That's how I be dealing with the situation. Right. So apparently, everybody else can't think like that. Right. Because some people, like I said, to, to for some people, it's it's unnerving, you know, it, or it's something that constantly they're playing it in their head, and it just it bothers them on a deeper scale, and they have to escape. Because, like I said, your situation with going to work, you can kind of like turn it on, turn it off. As mm. far as you go to work for a certain amount of hours, then you're done. But what if their situation is you know, your home life? You know, I'm coming home to a particular person or a situation that I can't escape from that easy. Because like I said, I remember being in a relationship uh, with a guy for a period of time. Y'all were living together? Yeah, we were living okay. together. And I would be, and I just uh, got to a point where I just, I just couldn't stand him. Didn't want to be around him. I was trying to leave, trying to break up. But it's so easy to get into a relationship, hard as hell to get out of them with certain people. So I found myself going through a, a mental thing where, you know, I, he would go to work. I'm happy. Knowing what time he got off of work and he would be on his way back home, I get nervous. I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I, I just don't want to be around this person. I don't like this person. I don't like this relationship. We are living together. So it's not as easy as, you know, just up and leave or whatnot. So. And, I, and I've told him, you know, I, I, I don't want this anymore or whatnot. But he, like I said, it was, it's harder to get out of a relationship sometimes. So I remember thinking to myself, you know, 
I got to figure out a way to cope. You know, so I can't get out of this situation right now. How can I cope with it? And my thought process at the time, I think it was years and years ago, mm -hmm. was uh, I'm just going to be sleepy. When he get home, I'm just going to be sleepy. I'm going to give me some sleeping pills because I am i don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't drink. I don't know how to get drugs. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want no pusher. I don't want no drug, man. I don't know weed. I'm not that person. And I don't buy, I don't drink alcohol because it's just nasty to me. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I felt that I could get easily was I'd go down here to Walmart, CVS, get some sleeping pills. And when he gets home, I'm just going to always be tired. I'm always going to be sleepy. And I'm just going to go to sleep. And, you know, he talking, I'm sleeping. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. That was my thought process at that time. Like I said, years ago, young. And so I think I did go and buy a, a box of pills or whatever. And I might have took one one day. I did, might have did it once or twice. And then some said, hold up, hold <laughs> up. Your dumb ass would be dead. <laughs> Overdosed on some damn sleeping pills. And this nigga will still be alive and thriving. <laughs> this ain't going to happen. So I remember saying to him one day, I was like, look, I don't want you. I don't want to be here with you. I don't want this relationship. We going to have to break up because one of us is going to end up dead. And it ain't going to be me. Because my next step was to start plotting. <laughs> On his ass. Not mine. <laughs> so... I understand. I understand the the thoughts behind being feeling that you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of and getting to the point where you have to 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 go someplace else mentally to deal with the person. It's not a fun or pleasant place to be in. It's not even funny to talk about it or to deal with it because I've been there. So I totally, totally, totally understand it. And like I said, I commend uh, Jocelyn for it. And I'm and I want to also bring this to other people's attention because you, you never know one day you just wake up and you're, there. and you're there and don't realize how you became an alcoholic, how you became uh, addicted to drugs. You know, how, how did I end up here? You know, it could be something as simple as, you know, a neighbor you coming home every day, dealing with a, a neighbor that's always yapping and, and fussing and complaining. It could be, like I said, working the same job for the last five years and got this boss that every time you, you come to work, he on your back, just tearing, tearing you, you down. Yeah, just tearing you down and you stuck, you feel you're stuck there because you got bills to pay. You got kids, you whatnot. You know, you got, or like I said, with the neighbor situation, you got this house, you got this mortgage, you can't just, you know, you ain't rent, so you, you can't just walk away. And you you find that, okay, I don't know how at this point, I don't know how to to cope with the situation and I, I, I got to escape or whatnot. But I, I found out, you know, through almost killing my damn self that face it, F it, yeah, face it. You got to face it head on. And that could be the most difficult thing to do because I guess I know when I was in the relationship, you know, people have a way of getting in your head and making yeah. you feel that you need them. So the thought process was at the time was that, you know, he says, I need him. How will I breathe if I, I'm not with him? That's how Jasmine was with Stevie J. Like, he would play manipulative games. Especially mm -hmm. watch Love and Hip Hop. And she talk about it. She mm -hmm. like, he would threaten, like, I'll sing back to the strip club. Oh, I'll do this. Like, he mm -hmm. just would mess with her mind. Now, she broke out of that. Like, she tells Stevie, just, that last season, if you watched the Love and Hip Hop. That's what you got to do. And he was like, I love you. I mean, she, of course you do. I bet you you do. Like right. she a whole different. You stupid. You dumb. Threw drinks at him. I understand it. Beating on me a little bit. More. <laughs> That's where we are. It's a mind thing. Just like your mind uh, was broken down to get to that point, you got to strengthen that mind to build it back up out of that point. So I'm saying people don't be thinking. Sometimes the mental damage is worse than the physical, the physical damage, damage because right. it'll hinder you from so many things. And it been such, like you said, being stuck. And not knowing what to do, it could be a dangerous, it's a dangerous place for the mind. Right. Because you don't know if you're going to go left or you're going to go right. What It just keeps you stuck. It's just... Right. And, I, and I'm glad, too, that like myself and like Jocelyn, you know, you had the, the resilience to, to overcome. Come up, overcome it, you know, because end up dead. Because I could have ended up dead. Mm -hmm. And same thing with Jocelyn in the situations that she's been in. You know, she could have easily ended up dead someplace, but 
you know, being a resilient person, being a resourceful person and being a person that, you know, you, you I'm down, but I'm not going to stay down. Mm -hmm. you, you, you think you're there, you in here, but you're not. And ever since then, like I said, I've been shh, hell on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Let's slow it down. Da -da 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 -da. Drum rolls. I mean, hello. Boss lady. And as we can see, she got some rules, <laughs> some expectations that make me raise an eyebrow. Cause I'm like, she's she talking about she expecting uh, they should have brought her furs and diamonds. Right. I deserve better. I deserve more. And, and not even that, she want niggas to fuck her. What? We have something for you. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid talking to Johnson at this point. I got the flowers, but I'm not gonna speak until I'm spoken to, especially in this situation. <laughs> So all this shit y'all put me through, I get flowers, no diamonds, no furs. No. no bags. No, I don't get no, I don't get no diamonds, no furs. You look no beautiful. Movies. I deserve better, bitch. I haven't got no full massages. Oh wow. I haven't got no 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 foot licks. Oh no Raven, lick it. lick it, Raven. The feet crazy. I just thought the pedicure was done. I love you, boss, but damn. Well, we would love to touch and smell. I, 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 I ain't got no, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, no, no toes licking. I ain't got none of that. I've never licked toes. That's the first. You ain't say nothing Zoom chat chat. Oh my God. You ain't say nothing chat chat. Toes? So my question would be, how far are you willing to go for your boss? Because I go get your lunch. That's about it. And if I'm getting your lunch, um, I'm going to stand on the clock because you're going to pay me. <laughs> um, I'm going to also need you to buy my lunch as well. And then depending on how far I'm going, I'm going to need your car. That, and I ain't doing it every day. Every now and again, you can ask me to go get lunch because I can say, I'm going to take my sweet ass time. I might even drop by my house uh, on the way to get your lunch. But that's it. That that's as far as I go for a boss. What, what, you, do? <laughs> what you what you doing over there? <laughs> um, that's about it too. Lunch. I'm not, and if I am, I better get something in return. Like if I ain't getting nothing in return, ain't nothing happen. Uh, no, nope, ask somebody else. But I can tell you what I'm not going to do. And what is that? I am not going to suck any crusted <laughs> cornfield toe. I'm not doing that. What the heck? I looked at Raven and was like, Are you serious? And she tried to make it look, oh, da da da, da. and I looked at her like, them toes are like Harriet Tubman, feet. <laughs> Harriet Tubman stomping ground toes, like, like Shrek toes. No, uh, uh, and you're not gonna be calling me to send hoes. Who right, are you talking that, to? Right. I can say, yeah, we probably. Hey, oh, uh, who you talking to? Me and her have been fighting and tussling because this ain't that, and I ain't the one. Let me call Diamond or Raven. Let me call this two horse love monkeys, and hopefully for their sake, their energy is right. If not, I'm gonna kick them out the window and it might be in the air all right that, that that i totally 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 agree i feel like if and this is a little bit different though like i said these women they are they trying to audition they're trying to audition for a position versus you know like we were a nine to five job you know it would totally be outlandish for some of them things to be asked but auditioning for a position in someone's show or whatnot but even still I'd have been mad as hell when you start talking to me crazy uh, and giving me these crazy expectations. When it comes time for you to, to think that I'm going to belittle myself for you, then it's hell no, it's time to go. So I'm walking up in there like y'all hoes better motherfucking buy down to the princess. But you know what I also think? I think because the, all the girls auditioning are all used to strippers or current used to be strippers. So that field alone, you get used to being degraded. So they probably comfortable with being people right, talking so. to them and stuff like that like you said versus me not up uh, i was right to, who you talking to? right you know that ain't my lifestyle right. i had one time back in my 20s mm -hmm. i had a supervisor now i was in a all the i would say the supervisors and the bosses or whatever all white all the staff were young black women like myself mm -hmm. and my immediate supervisor was a white female and mm -hmm. her supervisor was a white male. He talked to her crazy seven days a week. I would just watch it like, <laughs> and so one day she wasn't there, and I was next in charge. So I um, 
was handling some of her duties. And he said something, don't remember what it was because it was like 20 something years ago, but I remember myself stopping and saying, what you say? Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, eyes got big. He said it again in a different way. Mm -hmm. And then he walked out and he said nothing else to me that day mm -hmm. because he knew that this ain't that. You could talk to that other chick, however you want, call her, her name, her mama, her dog, everybody. But when you're talking to me, it's different. We, we ain't even going to start from day one. You getting checked. Mm -hmm. And Jocelyn, we would never get along. We would never be friends. You, you, <laughs> no. I can't even get the words out. <laughs> I don't even want to. People like that are people I tend to have the most confidence. I feel like I have a strong personality myself. When yeah. it, <laughs> so when it comes to stuff, another strong personality, but a strong, dis strong disrespectful personality, <laughs> I'm contained. Now, have you ever had a boss? Or anyone of uh, superior yeah. come step out of yeah. line. Yeah, she was. I had a boss, and it got to a point where she was yelling in my face and started clapping. And I told her, "You better stop clapping in my face and back up." Then the securities and all them got in between us and we <laughs> spread it. Because I just looked at her like I was about to slap you. I didn't even know that I was about to slap you, but you're not about to and keep moving forward. You threatening me. I feel aggressive attention. Coming towards me. I feel, yeah. Give me 50 feet. I can't do it. Right. Like you said, it's that stripper mentality, that stripper environment. Ain't never been there. Ain't even going to try to understand it. Jocelyn, we can never be friends. Quiet. Quiet. Thank you. Quiet. If you're still talking when I tell you to shut the up, you can leave right now. Hey, get them out of here. You three got to go. Get them out. One, two, three, right here, too, with the black, with the black brace. Get out. When I tell you to shut the Shut the f up. Get out. That's how we're going to play this game. If you're still talking when I tell you to shut the f up, you're going to get out. Do you understand me? Most of idea was like a little bottle girl thing. Yeah, it is a different environment. Different environment, right. So I, I ain't never like the dudes environment. feel like they can touch on you and this, that, and other. Be right. I slapped the dude with a plate. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? The little uh, platter? I Back up. <laughs> Chris, you can't do that. He can't do that. <laughs> like, uh -uh. No disrespect this going on me. here. I'm going to do this. <laughs> right, because my thing is when she put them crusty ass feet up there, talking about, you know, I ain't got my toes sucked or whatever, I'd have been like, ah, oh, driver, pilot, uh, turn the plane around, uh, drop me back off where you found me, because th this ain't that. It ain't going to work. It, it, mm, but you saw, what's her name, Raven? She all yeah. up on the feet. And even the other chick that was there, what was her? I don't Diamond, know. she tell her. Diamond, Raven she's like, it. you do it. You do it. I got no, no, no foot licked. Oh no Raven foot licking. Cause she Ooh, wasn't going to do it either. Girl. But uh, Raven was all up there. Like she was attempting. She never sucked her toes. No. But she was uh, all up on her Alluding feet. Alluding it as if she was. Right, right. Like I, I'll get close to it like I would or whatnot. But yeah, the, the way Jocelyn talks to them, I think you said it like that. It's Pimp behavior. Yeah, like they think they. I see it. Ballistic is the pimp. Jocelyn is the madam. Jocelyn has to keep them in order and check. And I think they all sleep. I, you can't tell me they ain't had no type of sexual encounters and stuff like them. Oh, the, the yeah, people. especially in that wow. world, it's like that. So no, especially when you. It was, anyway, that's another part. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That disrespect is one thing. And then the second thing is what you expect of a person that works with you. Anybody that works for her, she's going to treat them like a, a minion. Yeah. She's going to belittle them. And if you are used to that, or if you can tolerate that, then you can be a part of her crew. Raven Diamond, sit your ugly ass down somewhere. I don't want to see you again. But if you have any ounce of self-respect, dignity, you things, won't even deal things that money with can't her. buy. Right, yeah. Day one, I'd have been like, oh, this bitch ain't, this ain't for me. Oh, I'm about to clap the I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta this go, ain't right. for me. She might be my ass, but we gonna fight, and then I'm gonna go home. Because this ain't for me. I see low, I'm the baddest ever step. You in the wrong place, bitch, you know I kill you dead. Look at my see low, I'm the baddest ever step. Hey, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're messing with the vibe. See ya.